fingerprints right now in the book. Did he go swipe it? Let's go shake this kid out. I'll call you later. This is your second offense in eight months, Mark. What do you want with me? Just a couple of names. Your dealer, his supplier. I'm Alan Farber with Sloves and Warner. I have a court order from Judge Fairfax here for the release of Mark Jorgensen, Jr. Gucci class slips through the cracks. They do it all the time. I figure this kid can hand us a dozen mid-level suppliers. The kid comes from a family high up on the social register. In the meantime, we'll round the kid's cage. You played wonderfully. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hi there. Hi. Sonny Burnett. Mary McDermott. Pleasure. I wanted you to know that Alan seems to think he can plead no contest and get you a suspended sentence with the proviso that you spend six months away at a drug rehabilitation center. It's like sending me to jail. No. No, I won't do it. <laughs> What'd you get? Well, it's routine stuff on Junior. And then I spot the package on the old man. Woo! The whole world has had him under glass. I smell a little offshore money laundering here. You know what you guys are gonna pick up is a couple hundred million dollars worth of old money. Just because he's money doesn't mean he's not dirty. I still haven't recovered from last oh, night. give me a How break. It's a train. Charlie. Are there any warehouses around here? Gina. It's going down now. How you doing? Not a sound. been arrested. What? For what? They say she's been selling narcotics. I don't believe it. She's been running the game for your father all along. Follow your father's lead, Mark, and keep some space between us. Suicide. This is Jorgensen's work. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Mark. We want you to talk to your father. They say she killed herself. I killed her, Mark. I killed Mary. Be advised you're under arrest. Tell me something, man. What we did today. Good routine police work. Mm -hmm. 